Hey, this is Steve with Raybuck Auto Body Parts. Uh, you see the kids that are behind me. You guys probably know these are my kids. Um, they come down and they help me in the garage on a lot of projects. Uh, maybe you've seen some of the videos we've done. Blake and uh, Kobe uh, were helping me with the suspension on the 54 Chevy that's behind me. We did uh, a set of uh, baseball holders and some other stuff. Well, they've expressed more interest in doing more projects, so we're going to start a little ser series called Builder Kids. And it's going to obviously feature my kids and then hopefully some other kids um, for some of the uh, other Raybuck employees and maybe some of the neighbors and who knows who else. So we're going to do some stuff. Hopefully you guys like this. Uh, maybe your kids will get involved to get uh, more involved in the garage, whether it's with a car project or just something you want to do around the house. Uh, one of the things that we're going to do today, actually the one thing we're going to do today, is we're going to build a birdhouse. Sienna really wanted to do a birdhouse. There you go. And there's the drawing she made. So we're going to make something that looks similar to that. I don't know how detailed we're going to get with it, if we're actually going to get windows in it or anything, but we are going to do a birdhouse. And we're going to use a bunch of the stuff that's over here. So I'm going to turn the camera around here in a second, and we will talk about what we're going to use. Okay, so here are the tools and everything. Uh, let me just introduce you guys again in case you didn't know. I already said it. This is Sienna. That's Blake. That's Kobe. So those are my three helpers. This is Sienna's project. And here are all the items that we're going to be using. So as I've done in the past, or we've done in the past, we are starting with a used pallet. Um, we have all kinds of pallets around, so uh, it makes sense to try to reuse those instead of going out uh, to the lumber yard and buying some new wood. Um, plus, it's kind of cool because whatever you're building, if you don't want it to look ex uh, really even, um, you get some neat textures and colors out of that. On um, this one, I'm not sure if we're going to stain it or paint it or just leave it natural, but either way, we're going to use the palette. Um, wherever you're located, there's a pretty good chance there are stores around you that are trying to get rid of pallets for free. So um, if you want to do a project like this, you could usually pick these up. The other tool that we have on there, or the one tool we have on there, is a pallet buster. I've talked about it before. I'm going to show you guys how to use this. You can easily make one of these if you want to weld, if you uh, have a welder and uh, a little bit of metal, or you can buy these. Um, you could buy the whole thing, or you could buy just the end. For this one, it was so cheap. There's a place here in Pennsylvania that makes these, and they're really good quality. I forget the name of it off the top of my head, but I think it was on eBay. Um, this end piece was only like 35 bucks, I think. And then I had the handle off of an old jack. So I just welded the center of it to stiffen it up and then just uh, bolted it right there. So uh, again, we'll show you how that works here in just a little bit. And then these are the rest of the tools for the project. We might not use all of them and we might throw something else in here, um, but I think this is going to be the majority of it. If you don't have all these tools at home, don't worry. Um, you can use other stuff. Uh, instead of some of the nail guns, you could use glue or you could uh, hand nail it. If you don't have you know, the compound miter saw, you could use a different type of saw, etc. So guys, what tools do we have down here? Anyone want to tell me what hand we have? Saw. So we have a hand saw, it's a right saw. here. We have the miter saw. We have hammer. A hammer. Drill. Stick. A drill. We do have a stick, we're going to use that. Drill bits. We Take have some measure, pencils, nail pencils. Gun, nail gun. and the nail gun. Yeah, we have a finished nail gun. And so, the stick. And the stick. That's not a tool, but it is and something this. we're going to use. And Sienna's drawing. So, yeah, for the, the um, finished nail gun, that helps just because it has little, uh, like, uh, brad nails in it. It's really easy to do a small project like this. Again, if you don't have a finished nail gun, you could either buy one. Um, they're relatively inexpensive, or you can hand nail it if you just get a small box of, uh, like, brad nails. So these are the tools that we're going to use, and uh, we're going to start making this thing. So I don't have any dimensions or anything. We're just going to kind of wing it based off of Sienna's detailed drawing that you see right there. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then uh, that's it. So we're going to start by breaking. We're going to use the pallet buster. We're going to break the wood down off of the pallet, and then we're going to start getting some measurements to see how much wood we have here, and we're going to start making this thing. Okay, so look, we're going to put this underneath like this. Yep, you can do this. I'm going to stand on it, and you're going to pull back. There's one. Okay. Then we do the next one. Put. Okay. Oh, we should say kids don't try this at home. There's one board. He's encouraging kids to do this at home. He need, but you need a parent to watch. You need a parent to watch. You. Always be supervised when you. You have to be supervised whenever you watch this.
Okay, we're back. We took a little bit of a break for lunch. Uh, I should have mentioned it earlier, but I'm sure you guys know if you've worked on uh, even one project like this, um, you got to build in a little bit of extra time. But uh, have a little bit of patience. Be, have fun with it. Um, we took a little bit of a break for lunch. Sometimes you got a snack break, a water break, uh, drink break, whatever. Um, so just relax, have fun with it. So we got, uh, you probably saw we were breaking the uh, pallet down. We got it all break, broken down and um, separated into the different size pieces that were on it. This was only about a half pallet, but it's more than enough for what we need. Took all the nails out, threw those away so there's nothing sticking out of anything. And then here's all the wood. So um, one little change that I made, I had another scrap piece of wood, that's this one here. Uh, we're gonna use that as the base. We could use the pallets and cut them and then nail them together or glue them or whatever you wanna do, use that as the base. But since I had this piece here, I'm just gonna use this. Uh, it'll make it a little bit easier, make it go a little bit faster. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three boards wide for each side. Um, that works out to be about eight and a half inches. So we're gonna cut the base eight and a half on, on these two sides and then nine and a half this way because you need overlap so that your, uh, your boards will overlap in the corners and then you can nail them together. So uh, since the boards are about a half an inch thick, you need an extra inch in that direction. So we're gonna do eight and a half, eight and a half here and then nine and a half this way. That'll give us our base. And then we're gonna nail directly into the side of this and that's gonna give us uh, our support all the way up. What we're gonna do up here on the boards, uh, you can see the holes where the nails were. I guess we could have maybe left the nails in because we're gonna cut just inside of these nail holes and, uh, and use that as the, uh, the sides of, the, of the, tree, or the, the birdhouse. You can leave the holes in it if you want, let it uh, look a little bit more rustic, but, uh, or you could stagger them. We're just gonna cut inside of it so that we have uh, uh, just the, the solid pieces of wood on either side. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay these out in groups of three and then I'm gonna get a square, uh, little framing square here put it on and then I'm just gonna use it at the 45 it makes it easier we're gonna draw our line and then we're gonna do another line coming down off of this um, and that's gonna be our uh, the angle for our roof so we'll get all these lines drawn I'm gonna cut the boards first we'll get the boards uh, set up and then I'll draw my lines and uh, we'll cut those uh, the angles that we need for the roof and then we'll start nailing this together. So we will back this thing out and start cutting it and show you guys how this goes together. Okay. And we're off. Yeah, it'll go out past it. Yeah. So like the rain will hit it, it, and we can like put the stickers under where that little thing is, so the rain won't hit it. Yeah, we'll make the roof a little bit wider. Like it'll go down more. Yeah. Okay, so what you saw, we probably saw what we were doing. We put this board against the bottom just to give us a flat surface to make sure that we were measuring the correct distance or the same distance across it. What we did was we went nine and a half inches on the outside up, so we'll make that consistent on both sides so we know that the angle is going to be right and then we put the square on here and we drew our line up and then our intersecting line that way that way we know that's where we need to cut and that's going to give us our angle for the roof so that's going to be the roof on both sides or the roof coming down and then we know the side pieces we're just going to cut at um, nine and a half inches so the front and the back will look like this and then the sides will be nine and a half inches and then we'll put the roof on
Okay, so here are the pieces all cut. So you can see we got our front piece with the little door that she wanted, our back piece, and we have the two side pieces, and there's the base. Uh, we're going to end up putting a window or something else in this little piece. We'll do that after we, uh, after we get it all nailed together. So we're going to start nailing it together, and we are almost done with this birdhouse. Okay, we're going to start nailing this. Um, I did, I was just dry fitting it all together and realized I had my measurements backwards. Um, when I was talking about the base, I added an inch, but I should have actually subtracted for the overlap. Not thinking, happens all the time. Remember what I said about being patient when you're in the garage? Um, so anyway, it should be eight and a half by seven and a half. The seven and a half will give you enough room for the corners to overlap, and we'll show you what that looks like here in a minute. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start nailing the one side on, then the other side, and we'll show you what that looks like with the overlap, and then we'll finish the other two sides and be ready for the roof. Okay, you guys ready? So we got most of it nailed together around the base. You can see how we have a little bit of an overlap. You can see here and here we got the overlap. We're going to finish nailing up the sides. The one thing I should have accounted for, um, I made the sides nine inches or nine and a half. They should have probably been nine, so it was down so the angle is right, or I should have cut these on a 45. So I'm going to get that cleaned up so that we can put our roof boards on here and it will all line up. And then we're going to put the uh, upper one in and uh, nail it, angle nail it, uh, or toe nail it on the sides. Okay, so I took the belt sander, just took a little bit off each side so we can at least get a little bit of an angle. And all we're going to do is we're just going to use these cutoffs. 
Um, and we're going to go like this and just let it overhang. The kids wanted to let it overhang, so it's going to overhang. Um, and we're going to nail it all together. Okay, so we got we just finished up. It took us uh, maybe an hour or so total. We stopped a couple of times and made a couple of different uh, changes to it and uh, measurement changes. But and you can see we didn't get the uh, we didn't get the window in yet. But we might put a window in it. Might put one in the back. And but a uh, mat. and a little welcome mat. Sienna wants to put a welcome mat in it. Uh, but we did get it all together. All we did was find a little stick out in the yard and we drilled a hole in the center because Sienna wanted a little perch for the birds to sit on if they come over there. And then we got the little hole in the bottom. So um, it's pretty big. Uh, obviously, you can see her holding it up. It is a bigger birdhouse. You can make it any size you want. But um, you saw the dimensions that we used, and that's what gets you this. And that was about a half a pallet right there. So there you go. You got something to do on a weekend afternoon if it's raining outside or whatever. Um, and it gives you a nice little birdhouse. Uh, we can hang it up. We might just set it on the we're deck. Hanging it up. Uh, we're going to hang it up. So we're going to do that. Um, so yeah, if you guys like what you see here, uh, please like the channel. We appreciate it. Do you guys have anything else you want to say? Mm, Kobe, you want to snow in the opening song? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. First of all, I am blank. We wanted to You're say right. something real quick. If you comment what you think we should do, we might do one of your comments. Oh, we might do a project. That's a good point. So if you have a project that you want to do, or maybe that your kids want to do, if they're not watching this, um, let us know because these kids are looking for projects, and uh, we're going to do whatever we can. Oh, you want to do it? If we get a thousand likes in the next week, we'll do it. Oh, okay. So apparently if we get a thousand likes in the next week, uh, we are going to do whatever the next project is. I know there's a couple projects we're kicking around right now. Um, one is talking about building a go-kart. Um, Sienna wanted to build a scrunchie holder for her room. What do you want, Blake? I want... You got to say it. I want to build another bird house. Oh, he wants to do another birdhouse. So we might be doing another birdhouse, maybe a double decker with two holes or something else. Um, Blake is a real big animal kid, so we might be building all kinds of stuff related to animals. We might build a oh, tiger. Oh, a fish trap. A oh, a fi we did do a fish trap, so we no. could show that. So if we, if we ever catch a fish and put it in a fish tank, we might show we you. Might. Okay, so we're going to wrap this one up. Um, if you guys, as you see, they're very excited. If you have any comments on projects you think we could do, Definitely comment below. We really appreciate it. Click above to like us. We uh, really appreciate when people like the channel. And we're going to be doing a lot more of these Builder Kids episodes. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you give us a thousand likes in the next week, we're going to build two more birdhouses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> two more birdhouses. Thanks, guys.